Okay, it's day 164. I think this is six. Um, so we met the uh, Senate candidate here uh, that's going up against Tammy Baldwin. Uh, I wanted to, you know, make a political statement helping Paul Nealon uh, against uh, Paul Ryan here. Now, he lost by 50 points, so, you know, Paul Ryan's going to win. But it's probably be more important that Leah Vukmir Leah Vukmir uh, win as the candidate in the Senate seat because the way Wisconsin's organized is they have one Republican senator and they have one Democratic senator. Uh, Ron Johnson, you probably know, uh, as the Republican senator, he's in the Intelligence Committee and so forth and been a, a, a good supporter of transparency. And then there, of course, is Johnson Wax in Milwaukee, and then there's Johnson Controls in Milwaukee, the, you know, the building controls. And then there's also Johnson & Johnson in Racine. So there's a lot of Johnsons going on here. I, I'm, I'm gonna stay away from that. But uh, Tammy Baldwin, the Democrat, is coming up for re-election. And the, I, I, I talked to her quite a bit. Um, Leah is a very nice person, and she gave me about a half an hour of her time. And what I like about her, she's a nurse. Uh, she's so she's got you know she's just a nurse who wants to do the right thing. But she's very involved with manufacturing, and very involved with the police unions, the fire unions, uh, the the emergency services, all the people that are first responders. So I, I really wanted to give a strong uh, uh, statement of support. And again, a candidate that comes out says, hey, I saw you, I want to come out, I want to meet you, I want to introduce myself. And I think these are the important people. She said, I wasn't on the Trump train at first. You know, she's a big Scott Walker person. She's a part of that whole kind of, hey, you can't hold the you know government and the people, SEIU, you can't hold everybody hostage. But she said, hey, as, as I got to know Trump better, I got on the Trump train and I'm a really strong Trump supporter. And again, I think Trump, I, I sat with a, a whole slew of, of Trump supporters, Democrat and Republican tonight. And the key thing I keep hearing is he's a businessman. He wants to bring jobs back to Wisconsin and, and Michigan and Ohio. I'm from Ohio. You know, Indiana, I'm from Indiana. I want, they want to bring jobs back. I don't care if it's Mugwump or whatever your party is, Trump wants to bring jobs back. So um, I, I want to support her. I want to tweet her out. Um, again, it's Leah Vukmir, V-U-K-M-I-R, uh, Leah Vukmir. And uh, I think it's just a strong candidate. I think it's, it's a person who, it didn't necessarily, doesn't have Paul Nealon's background in manufacturing, but she, no, she's making an active effort. She's been to 66 of the 72 counties. And I just wanted to make a strong statement because I just believe that she comes out, everyone I introduced her to tonight, she's listened to and, and interacted with and listened uh, and is, a, is kind of a, a person of the people. So I don't normally do political things, but um, this is a candidate I felt very strongly about and her platform. And she needs to, of course, win the primary. It's a late primary here in Wisconsin. It's an April primary. So it's important that we do a lot of meet and greets and a lot of fundraisers early to make sure that these kind of candidates get a chance to win in November against a, a, a kind of a very uh, globalist. And I hate the word globalist. I, I like the word carpetbagger. Um, I've seen the destruction of towns in my hometown in Fort Wayne, Indiana. International Harvester plant left when I was in, you know, a teenager, and I've seen the destruction in Ohio uh, firsthand, and I've seen the destruction in Michigan. So I'm not as familiar with Wisconsin, but you know, you got Harley Davidson. We had this trade discussion. Let's just take all the names and brand names out of it. If it was Brand X over here, and that's your trade representative, and Brand Y over there, take China out of it, take take the U.S. out of it. If your guy came back and said, "Hey, I got a great deal," we pay 35% tariff over there and we get 1.2% tariff on their stuff coming in. Isn't that a great deal? Everyone would say, you're no longer our trade representative. Get out. That's what we have right now. And I think it's 100% tariff on Harley Davidson products in, in Japan and a, a, at least a 35% in China. I'd like to check those facts. So anyway, lots of trade discussions. I know everybody's watching Final Four, but I just wanted to throw that out that we have a U.S. Senate candidate here tonight that came out to meet me and she wanted to tell her story, so there you have it.